Well, I'm going to start Lacuna today. It's a sci-fi noir game where, well, it looks like everything's going to go to hell unless I do something about it. So let's get into it. Your progress is saved automatically at certain points throughout the game. All progress since the previous save point will be lost when you quit. You cannot manually save the game or load a previous save. There is no going back. Well, that's foreboding. Hey, what's up? Uh, let's see, the icon in the bottom right indicates that you can move on with the dialogue by pressing E or the mouse. All right, Noah, hey, what's up? Hey, Noah, long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. I heard that a ship with new people arrived last night. I had a feeling you might be in there. How was your journey through space? It sucked. It felt like I was buried alive with my parents. You're headed downstairs, right? I'll come with you. So how's life on Drovia? I didn't really like it at first. There's not much going on here yet. Hard to imagine it's going to be like New Joran one day. But when you think about it, it's actually pretty cool. What is? Making history and stuff. Conquering a foreign planet. Building the first ever Savient colony. Isn't that exciting? I don't know. I feel like I've seen most of this place already. Well, they're still building it. By the way, where do you live? Our apartment is on floor 8, near the stairs up to the common area. No way, you got one of those fancy apartments? I mean, ours is alright, too. I think it's because of my parents' job. All the scientists are in that area. Anyway, I've got to get back home. Recess is almost over. Maybe you can show me around later. Actually, before you go, there's something I want to show you. Can it wait till this afternoon? I don't want to be late. Who cares? Come on, it's really cool. Today's my first day at school here. I don't want to make a bad impression on my first day. What do you want to show me? You'll see. It won't take long. Okay, use A, D, and E, or 1, 2, 3, or... Okay, a lot of options to select the dialogue option later choices will be on a timer which can be disabled in the setting i left the timer on uh just i think it'll be more fun uh, of course we're gonna go all right then all right i'm curious but let's make it quick you won't regret it this way Are we allowed in there? The sign says this is a restricted area. We aren't, but I got the entrance code. Where'd you get that? My older brother works in there. He gave it to me. But it's not dangerous or anything. No, don't worry. Come on. See that elevator? It takes us halfway up the dome. Up? No, we're going to get caught. There's nobody up there. It's going to be awesome. You'll see. Come on. Fine. But if someone sees us, I'm going to tell them it was all your idea. Sorry. 
So, what do you think? That was... wow. Right? Did you see the entrance to the mines? Crazy how huge it is, huh? Yeah, pretty impressive. And your brother works down there? It's kind of a scary thought. Really? I think it's pretty cool. Hey, wait a minute. Do you see the flag on those boxes? That's Gara's. So? Why are they bringing stuff to our colony? Why wouldn't they? Maybe they're spying on our cool mining tech or something. Noah, Gara isn't our enemy. We trade with them and stuff. And besides, if you were unloading espionage equipment, would you print your face on the box? I... no, I wouldn't. I guess you're right. I really gotta run now. Thanks for showing me this place. It's really cool. Glad you liked it. Don't tell anyone we went up there, okay? I'll get in trouble. I won't. Promise. Uh, hey, Mira. I'm glad you're here. I kinda missed you. I missed you too. Oh, that reminds me. My parents gave me a new cell when we got here. We have to reconnect. Let's do it. And... Here we go. All right, see you later. Press C or click the cell icon on the bottom to open your cell. Okay. Think I'm going to get caught? Maybe something will blow up. Where am I going, by the way? I'm sure this is where uh, classes are. Oh, I was right. Oh, walk home. Okay. Uh, every conversation you have is logged in this tab to help you keep track of who said what. Oh my. Okay. E-pad, which you can't use. Outline mode? You know, that probably outlines things I can interact with. Like in the art style, I've always been a fan of pixel art. I know it was like a thing <laughs> for a while, but I have always liked it. It's kind of comforting, I don't know, in a weird way. Let's see, I don't know where I'm going. Let's see, under the dome, at the gate. No. Where did she say we were? Our apartment is on floor eight near the stairs up to the common area. Okay, so I think I'm going the right way. I'm looking for, oh, here we go. Get on the computer. Well, that looks like a computer. Oh. There we go. Alright. Now that everybody's here, Mira, we can get started. Please make sure to arrive on time in the future. This morning, I walked you through our learning platform and showed you the curriculum for this year. You'll be taught about the same topics as you would back home. Today, we're going to go over some basic facts about our solar system. This won't be news to most of you, but I want to make sure we are all on the same page. I already know all this stuff. Can I skip this lesson and come back later? No. I haven't even told you what exactly we are going to talk about. 
Let me ask my dad. I'm sure he will write me a note. Glasses are mandatory for everyone, even for the son of our chief of security. I'm sure he'll agree with me. You were all given a map of the solar system as part of your school package. I can see that some of you have already put it up on the wall very nice. Please take a moment to double check if it's there. You may need it for your next assignment. All right, space to toggle AR modules investigation mode. Once active, it will highlight nearby objects you can examine. Toggle the right using tab and to the left using What's that supposed to be? Home? I'll find out. Then investigate using E or... Okay, please note that you cannot interact with anyone or anything while in investigation mode. Okay. Okay, I can just cycle then. Let's see. Doesn't tell me what's... Oh. Cara Drovia New Joran. See, and then... Alright. Looks like you all have the poster. It'll help you solve the task I'm about to give you. I also have another resource for you. An excerpt from a recent news article. I'm sending you both the sheet and the article now. Open your cell and check your news and sheets tab. Uh, tabs. Submit the sheet once you think you've got it. From time to time, it can be useful to stop and think for a while. Some benches, sofas, and chairs offer a place to sit down, take out your cell, and go over everything you know so far. Okay. Whenever you're, uh, you receive a news article, it is stored in this tab. Select it to view the latest news. The little bouncing icon indicates new cell content you haven't seen yet. Sheets are added to this tab of your cell. Select the correct answers to fill the gaps. When the sheet is due, a submit button appears at the bottom. You only have one shot at getting it right. All right, commentary as a new Joran journal. Lithium will pass the torch. For almost four centuries, lithium ion technology was the be all and end all in battery technology. Up until recently, nobody would have predicted the sudden rise of telanium uh, based energy storage. Just two years ago, scientists first succeeded in producing a telanium based prototype that far exceeded its lithium counterpart in terms of storage capacity, weight, power, and longevity. When vast amounts of the supposedly rare telanium ore, or telanium ore were discovered under the crust of Drovia last year, a new gold rush began, the likes of which we hadn't seen since Gara's first lunar colonies. Two very different factions, Gara and a group of Savians, Savians migrants from New Joran, have already secured their spot on the planet's surface, eager to participate in the next technological revolution. Okay. The first colony outside of Gara, the Cradle of Humanity, was built in 1608. It was a small science base on Milan, one of the planet's three moons. Fast forward to today, humanity has conquered most of the solar system. The colonization of Drovia started only about a year ago. Savians from blank, the closest planet to Drovia, have now established their own colony. Your new home in Sector 2 on Drovia... This not only gives us Savians our very own nation, but also access to one of the world's most sought-after resources. Oh, I know what that is. Uh, due to technological innovations, the price of Telonium has skyrocketed over the year. Okay, so the first calling outside of blank, Cradle of Humanity. I think it was New Joran. I'm going to go back and look, but uh, let's see. Davians from blank, the closest planet to Drovia. Okay, I have to go back and look. All right, I think I got it. This first one gave me a little trouble, but it, uh, let's see, one of the planet's three moons. Gar is the only one that has three moons. 
All right, Mira, I received your sheet. Let's go over it. The first answer is correct. Humanity originated on Gara and settled the other planets from there. Let's look at the second question. That was an easy one, wasn't it? It's Savians from New Joran that created their own colony on Drovia. Now for the last question. That's right. We are mining Telanium on Drovia. It's a very valuable resource nowadays. Good job, Mira. Looks like you have a grasp on this topic. Let's move on to the next... Hold on. What was that? Connection closed. Call interrupted due to an emergency structural breach detected. Please relocate to the closest safe room as quickly as possible. They will be locked down in 60 seconds. Emergency exit plans have been dis uh, distributed to all living units. Wait, what? Oh. Um, so I did look at that. That was a little note from her parents. This shows... So I'm here, we need to go down one, two, and then over. Uh, there we go. Oh shoot. Help, anyone, please. Hey girl, please help me, the door is stuck. I... Noah? Mira, come on, you've got to hurry. But she... Please, just grab the door and pull. Yeah, I can do that. It's working. Let's go. Am I gonna make it? Oof. Mir- oh. After 10 years, meeting your ex still feels kind of strange. Or maybe it doesn't if you don't still have feelings for her. And maybe it doesn't if the whole world isn't on the brink of war. I don't even know why I agreed to see Cat that day. My thoughts were still lingering on my work. My unit was responsible for the safety of one of the most important visitors Yara had seen in a long time. Joseph Banny, foreign minister of Drovia. Whatever came of his negotiations with our president could make or break the relationship between our planets for generations to come. Yet here I was, fighting with my ex about how often I should call my daughter, pretending that it mattered. Neil, did you hear what I said? Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Were you listening to the radio? I'm sorry, Cat. They were talking about Banny. This whole thing has really put me on edge. You haven't changed a bit. You know how important it is this time. Yeah, that's what you said every time. Let's get back to Laura. That's why we're here, right? I don't know what else to say. You never visit her. You don't even call her back. You're being unfair. I watched that awful movie with her that you didn't want to see. Come on, that was over a month ago. And you've barely responded to her messages ever since. I don't understand how you can treat her like that. She deserves better. Honestly, I don't like spending time at our old place. What? Why? It reminds me of our life together. It reminds me of our life together, I guess. You never seemed to care much at the time. You keep telling yourself that, Cat. Sure, I'm telling myself that. You were never home. I was starting out at the CDI. None of us were ever home. Whatever. We've been having this discussion for a decade. 
Laura's a teenager now, and it would be good for her if she had a second parent to talk to. And good for me, frankly. Look, I'll try to do better. Great. Why don't you go up to her right now, then? She's home, and I won't be bothering you. I have an appointment. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Really? Laura will be delighted. I have to go now. It was good to see you. You too. As I started walking home, I felt angry at myself. Not for failing to show my daughter how much I cared for her, but for actually not caring as much as she would have deserved. At least that's what I thought I felt like at the time. I was under a lot of pressure due to Banny's visit, and I found it hard to think about anything other than work. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be getting on this or not. Apparently not. Or at least I'm not gonna. I wish they had, there was that one arrow, I kind of wish they had more direction. Hey, Laura. Oh, Dad, hi. You're working on your novel? Yeah, no, please stop looking at the screen, it's still very rough. What are you doing here? Thought I'd stop by to say hello. Haven't had much time for that lately. Did Mom send you? I mean... Kind of. Kind of, but she can't really send me anywhere. I came because I wanted to. Okay. So, how's that novel coming along? Will I ever get to read it? I'm working on a different text right now. I haven't had much time for that novel, or for the novel lately. I'm in that writing contest, don't you remember? I made it into the second round. Hey, not bad, that's great. I have to knock it out of the park because I have to make it to the finals. All the finalists participate in a workshop led by Hannah Slater. That would be so awesome. Who's that? You don't know her, seriously? She wrote the tree and the asteroid. She's the best. Sounds good, I'm sure you'll make it. At least one of us is optimistic. I need to finish this within the next two days, and it still sucks. I'll leave you to it, then. Let me know if you want to go watch another movie. You did like the last one, after all, didn't you? I hated it. Sure you did. See you soon, Dad. Oh. Let's see, Sector 2, Incident, 40th Anniversary. Oh, that must have been what uh, we just went through. Today marks the 40th anniversary of the tragic Sector 2 incident, which put an abrupt and permanent end to New Joran's colonization efforts on Drovia. Critical structure flaws led to a series of explosions in the uh, colonial mines, which caused big parts of the residential tunnels above to collapse, resulting in over a thousand deaths. Oof. An independent investigation concluded that oversight of the construction projects on the part of New Joran's public authorities had been, quote, dangerously negligent. Following public outcry and pressure from the interplanetary community, New Joran was forced to shut down its colonization project on Drovia for good. To this day, an addendum to the Space Travel and Planetary Protection Treaty of 1803 forbids the construction of another New Joran colony on Drovian ground. 55-year-old Mira Main, hey, and her husband Noah Main, aw, look at that, are among the incident's few survivors. Both were able to reach one of the few safe rooms when the explosions started rocking the colony, narrowly escaping certain death. Mira Main's parents weren't as lucky, however. She spent the rest of her youth as an orphan in her grandmother's care. As she tells GNN, she still suffers from PTSD to this day. 
Tune in tonight for our special installment when Maine recounts her memories of the horrific Sector 2 incident. Ooh. I wonder if we can actually watch that. Alright, all right. go home, I guess. So, is there like a map or something? It says walk home, but... Like, how do I know... How do I know where home is? <laughs> Guess I'll just wander. Ooh. Okay, let's get home and then I'll read that. Ooh. In a post-cancer time, smoking is a less lethal but still addictive lifestyle for many. Cigarettes can be bought all across the city. Your cell's home tab lists how many cigarettes you have left. The choice is yours. Help Neil quit smoking or enjoy some nice views of the city over a cigarette. Ooh. See, this is tough. Because I'd want to quit, however, <laughs> it seems unbelievably noir to, uh, to do that, so I think I'm going to keep smoking. Looked at my reflection in the glass and down at the layers of city below my feet. I wondered why I'd opened up to Cat about feeling weird at our old place. I didn't want her to think I still missed her. Maybe I did, because something still hurt when I saw her. Although it might just have been the memory of not getting something we wanted, of having failed. As good as we may be at making sense of things, there are some we can't work into the narrative. All right, welcome, visitor. Mr. Conrad is currently not at home. It's probably because I'm standing in the hallway. Would you like to leave a message? No, it's me, Neil Conrad. Perform another scan. Scanning is currently not possible. Please contact the system administrator for more information. I have not seen a more accurate depiction of the future. Great. Scanner's probably busted again. I should check my cell. Maybe I got notified about it. Alright. People will message you from time to time. Yeah. Messages. Dear Mr. Conrad, I hope you read this message in time. Your building's ID scanner system broke earlier today and is currently under maintenance as your apartment will not be able to identify you. You have to enter your backup key code, which is updated every month for security reasons. Your current code is 9264. I will keep you updated on the ID system status. I apologize for the in inconvenience, and I hope the matter will be resolved shortly. Yours, Andrew Stevens. Oh, look at this stuff. Well, let's, let's get into our apartment first. 9264. Yeah, yeah, shut it. I want to enter a pin, please. Uh, from time to time, keypad. Home right lights up. You can oh, oh, okay. Once it's open, input numbers using that and E. Okay. I already forgot it. Welcome, visitor. <laughs> You entered the correct pin. Unlocking door. Ooh. Hey, Gary. So, how'd that date with your ex go? Perfectly. What do you think? Well, I hope it was worth ditching me. What's the situation? Our job's done for today. Banny and his staff are with President Robertson now. Tonight, they're, they are invited to dinner with some fat cats. Things went over smoothly, nothing out of the ordinary so far. But damn, Danny's guys annoyed the fuck out of me. They didn't miss an opportunity to call us colonists. One more time, 
and I might have pinched, uh, punched them all in the throat. I'm just happy they're Johnson's responsibility for the rest of the day. Let's hope that we're all getting along better after the summit. I'm not so sure about that. Did you read the article about the trade summit in the news today? Yes? The one about Robertson not really planning on giving Banny anything? They've been saying that for weeks. Let's wait and see. What else do you think will happen? Drovian independence? If you ask me, Banny shouldn't get anything at all. We built the whole colony after all. Anyway, the chief has scheduled a briefing tomorrow morning at 9. Don't be late. Copy that. See you tomorrow. Okay, let's read some of this stuff. Oh, the glossary allows you to read up on important people and places if you need a reminder. Oh, I guess I hadn't read it. This morning, after a six-week journey through space, the most important guest of this year's Interplanetary Trade Summit has finally arrived on Gara, Drovia's Foreign Minister, Joseph Banny. As one of the most radical critics of the Garian state and its, um, call... I don't know why, I just can't read that word sometimes. Uh, the, the activities. Banny has been fighting for more economic and political autonomy Androvia's part for a while. A central demand at the summit is expected to be Drovia's full emancipation from Garian rule. However, political observers don't expect President Robinson to give in to their demands. The Drovia experts in Robinson's ministry declared themselves against granting the colony more rights and liberties, especially in light of the Savient Front's growing influence on Drovia. The Savian Front is an extremist branch of the Savient religion and is infamous for defending backwards anti-scientific positions. Drorian independence would inevitably lead to a stronger influence of this group in our solar system. However, if Robertson doesn't want to escalate relations between our planets, he might be forced to find some compromise with Banny. Hmm. Colonial. There you go. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, hello, everyone. So this is... Okay. The meeting tomorrow starts at 4 o'clock in room 174 at CDIHQ. We need to go over some security details concerning Banny's tour. See you all tomorrow, Gary. See you very long. Uh, Central Department of Intelligence, Security Department, and there's a number... Confidentiality warning, this message and any attachments are intended only for the use of the intended recipient, are confidential, and may be privileged. If you are not the intended recipient, delete this message and any attachments from your system. Thank you. Alright. Drovian classmates. Uh, hey dad, I tried to call you, but it looks like you were busy again. I just wanted to tell you about something that happened in class today. Remember those Drovian siblings I told you about? They got in a huge fight with some of my classmates over the whole independence thing. Felix said that Drovia would go down the drain without the Federation, and one of the Drovian kids just flipped out. Some other people joined, and it got so bad that we had to call our teacher to stop them from hurting each other. They all got detention. I'll tell you more in person next time. Oh, well, she didn't. What is today? Um, does it not tell me? Must be May 3rd then. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll definitely have to poke around that at some point. Make sure I'm all caught up. Definitely worth the possible cancer. I'm sure you guys can agree. <laughs> 